Good afternoon, guys. Hope everybody's doing great today. <clears throat> this is uh, Coach Bill with Weight Loss Made Easy, and today we are in uh, Coach Bill's uh, Keto Kitchen. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do today, guys, is I'm going to show you guys my favorite uh, meal that I like to have when I'm breaking one of my fasts or my prolonged fast. You might even want to call it a uh, my post-workout meal also, because obviously I'm still in my gym outfit. I just got back in the gym about an hour ago. And so I wanted to show you guys uh, the, the my most favorite meal that I enjoy uh, breaking my fast with, because for myself, personally, it's very easy on my digestive tract when I'm uh, coming off of a long fast. Um, I'm putting on massive, I'm, I'm adding, I'm putting into my body massive amounts of uh, nutrients, good fats, uh, probiotics, B vitamins, minerals, protein, and it's got high good fats in it, and it's very, very, very low carb. Those of you that follow me know that Emily and I have three very powerful protocols that we use for our 90-day online personal coaching clients that are designed to escalate you guys to be able to lose the body fat and belly fat. Now, from all of I just said, it, 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 doesn't, it sounds easy about losing that belly fat, but it really is easy, but yet it's not easy. And when you have a, uh, a coach that understands the physiology of the body and how it, uh, how it actually works and how hormones work and and how weight loss works when you have fatty liver, it just makes things a lot easier for you guys. So I, I would recommend that you do get a coach and that they can show you exactly uh, the steps you need to go through so you don't struggle, so you don't quit, and so you keep the weight off for a long, long term. But today, guys, I'm going to go ahead and make my, um, my meal here. And as you can see, I have it all out here. Now, um, I'm going to start with uh, one of my favorite parts of this meal. Uh, it's, my, it's Emily's homemade yo yogurt. She makes it herself here at home. Uh, I'll have her switch over to the Instapot. We make it, uh, right, she uses the Instapot there. And I'll have her bring her back over here now. And now what she does is we're using uh, whole milk. Now don't panic, those of you that might have our lact lactose sens sensitive or you can't be on dairy because your allergies, when, when she makes this, she'll put it in the Instapot for about, what, 16 to 20 hours. It'll cook. Well, the uh, culture that's in the yogurt that makes it healthy uh, actually will use the lactose as food. And so by the time it's done, there's it's the lactose is gone. So you guys don't have to worry about it if you're non-dairy. Don't worry about it. But, but you're getting homemade yogurt. Now, why is this different than going to the store? Well, because it's homemade, it's fresh, and we know what's, what's in it. We don't have additives to it because if it's on a shelf, you guys know for a fact that Anything on a shelf has to have some type of additive in it to keep it so it won't putrefy. And that additive, most of the time, is what? It's a substance or it's a chemical that could cause cancer or, some, or other diseases. So this is fresh and we know what's in it. And besides, it's very, very low carbs. And that's what we want on our keto meals. And so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to put four tablespoons... In my bowl here, three, four, okay, so I got four tablespoons in my bowl. Okay, the next thing is kefir. This is what I'm going to add. Now, this kefir not, also has massive amounts of probiotics, massive amounts of minerals, massive amounts of B vitamins. So, obviously, and it helps the gut. It's a way to keep the gut healthy. Those of you that got gut issues, you've got to be on kefir. Now, this is homemade kefir. Uh, again, we're not buying it from the stores. And why is that? Because they're contaminated. We know what's in here, okay? And I like to use about a half a cup of this. So there's a half a cup of my kefir. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the top on this. Okay, now in this container I have um, coconut milk. So I'm going to add the coconut milk because I want extra fat in this meal because I'm on a keto diet. I'm, I'm on a 80% fat, 50% low uh, protein, and 5% carbs. So I want to make sure I have enough fat in this meal. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of, of coconut milk in it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this off a little bit here. Okay, so now... Now I'm going to add some fiber, some fiber, some protein, and some more fat. These are chia seeds. So this is just going to add more fiber because obviously I'm going to need some fiber. I don't eat a lot of carbs, so I'm going to need some kind of fiber. So I'll put a tablespoon of chia seeds in there. <coughs> and then I'm going to take, uh, so you got that, that. Okay, I'm going to add some collagen. There's my collagen. I like to use this one, uh, Dr. Axe. Uh, the reason why I'm doing the collagen is for my skin, my hair. I'm old. Uh, Emily and I both have lost a lot of body fat. So our skin obviously is going to be a little saggy. This is going to help the uh, to get the skin tighter. It's going to help my skin. It's going to help my uh, hair. It's going to help my nails. It's going to help my bones. It's going to help a lot of things. So... Google collagen the benefits and you'll see why why we use this. Okay, so I'm going to use this. I've got a scooper in here. I'll put one scoop of this in here. All right. Okay, and I'm going to add some more fat. I got my MCT oil. I love my MCT oil. It's a um, it's a product that comes from coconut oil. But what? But it's uh, actually been. Um, it's actually derived from co coconut oil, and it's very easily to digest because it does not have to go through the digestive tract. It goes straight to the liver, and it actually is going to help me produce more blood ketones. That's what I want to be. I want to be in ketosis. I want to be in fat burning 24 hours a day. In order to be in fat burning, I got to be producing blood ketones. I have to be in ketosis. This is going to help to produce even more and get me deeper into ketosis. And gives me more energy too. So I've got that in there. Okay, this is my veggie protein powder. I don't use whey protein. Those of you that are using whey, you need to stop. Uh, Google the uh, side effects of whey protein. When you understand how they process it and how it changes the molecular structure, of the molecule in that whey protein, you're not going to want to have it. And then you'll see, because of how it changes the structure and the side effects from that, you won't want to have it. You won't want to have it. But I like fla flavor. If something doesn't taste good, I'm not going to eat it. So I got veggie MRM veggie protein powder, vanilla, because it adds that vanilla taste to it. So I'll put a nice heaping scoop of this in here. Nice heaping scoop of that. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put a tab of salt in there, just a little bit, add some ele electrolytes to it. Now, you, you guys, if you want, you can add some cinnamon to add a little flavor to it, add a little sweet uh, sweetness to it. I'll put a little bit in there, just like that. Now, I'm going to add some more fat now. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a half an avocado, like so. Take my half of avocado, like so. There we go. And I, I want it squished up really good, so I'm going to really get this thing squished up. I don't like a lot of chunky avocados in my meal. I don't know why I don't. It's just... Doesn't, I don't know, it just tastes funny, uh, not tastes funny, but it just feels funny. So I'm just going to try to smash it up as much as I can. And we all know the benefits of avocados. We have, Emily and I, well actually I have one whole avocado every single day. And she probably has one and a half avocado every day. 
And avocado's got a, a, a huge amount of good, good fat because that's what we're trying to do here. I, I want this meal to be ma mainly uh, high good fat. I want it to be, I, I, want the, I, I want the fat to be twice as much as the protein in it. But because I, I am getting some good protein in it, so I'm going to smash this up pretty, there we go. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to my paste. I call it my, this, I call this my high fat good protein paste. And you'll see why it's, I call it a paste. Alright, so I'm going to put that in here. Now, I like to do, the, I got, these are my baked almonds, I bake them, I bake them for, I, I, first I soak them in real butter for, real butter, then I put it on like a cookie pan, and I coat them with, with a lot of Himalayan sea salt, and then I'll bake them for uh, 20 minutes at temperature at 350, why I bake them is because when I chew them, they break up very easily, and so at, by the time I'm done chewing it, they're actually going to be like a paste in my mouth, and it's much easier for my body to di digest them. So that's why I do it. But I'll take my little thing here, and I'll squish a few of them. Kind of add like a, I don't know what you want to call it, a peanut butter, a, a chunky peanut butter effect to it or not, but it just kind of adds a little to it, so... Make sure I get them all here. There we go. Then I'll put it in here, like so. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix it all up. So this is actually a meal. I mean, if, if, you, if you saw, you saw what I put in here. And you, now, you, now you can understand why the nutritional value in this meal is so good for you. Plus, we are putting in it, we, we, we made it as a paste form, so how much easier will it be for your digestive tract to digest this? How much quicker? Which means that it, you're going to utilize more of the nutrients in it as it gets into the small intestines. But I want to really mix it up good. Really mix it up. So I want to get as much out and get as, get as pasty as I can. Now, I'm, I came off of a, oh, actually, I, I came off of an 18 hour fast, actually a 19 hour fast. And that's basically how I fast 18 to 20 hours a day, most of the time. And I always like to break my fast with some kind of good fat. So if I'll have Emily come over here. So what I do is at about 12 o'clock today, when I got home from, from the gym, about 12, I had a cup of bone broth right before I, um, I have my first meal of the day. And I, I like putting uh, sea salt and pepper in it to kind of, uh, it gives it a better taste. But this is how I break my fast. So I want to have something first because I've been on a prolonged fast. I want to ease the food in, into my stomach, so this is preparing my gut for my main meal, okay? Okay, so, this is the finished product, you guys, and this is why I call it my high, <laughs> I don't know, you guys might be thinking to yourself, well, Bill, that doesn't look that good. I go, uh, uh, guys, it tastes really good. And like I said, it's very healthy, and it's very easy for your gut to di digest. So you're not going to be as tired after you have, have this. But this is what I call my high good fat protein paste. Okay, guys? So I'm actually going to add this to my res recipes, so it'll be on there. And, and I'm also going to put the video... That way you guys will have the video on how to make make this. You might want to try it. It, it really is good. Um, you guys, if you, you know, those of you uh, that are watching me on Facebook now, um, go, to, go to my YouTube channel. Type in Bill Mabry. Um, subscribe to it. Hit that bell. And you'll get some of the newer videos that I do. Those of you that are watching me on YouTube, 
Hit that bell and you'll get the videos also. Also, you guys, those of you that want more information about my 90-day online personal coaching, you can message me and I'll send you the package. Okay, guys? So, guys, I hope you saw some value in this. And I hope you guys will try it because, like I said, this is a great meal to break your longer fast with. Okay, guys? Hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you guys next time around.